if you click this video, then I'm assuming that based on the title, you already know what I'm about to tell you in this video, but I'm just about to tell you even more that goes along with the title, okay? You will not believe what I just found out, okay? Stay tuned through this whole entire video. Don't forget to leave a comment below if I say something and it resonates with your spirit and it vibrates with your soul, okay? Don't forget to subscribe to your big bro trend after this video if what I'm talking about resonates with you. Listen, y'all. Listen. I truly and really feel like we have been lied to all our whole life about the weather. I really do feel like that. The more I grew up and the more I became spiritual, I started getting downloads and intuitive thoughts that started telling me that what I was seeing on TV is not really real. OK, the, the weather is not really what you think it is. OK, the rain is not really what you think it is. Wind is not really what you think it is. All right. Stay tuned throughout this whole entire video, man. And give me a thumbs up on this video. All right. Listen. Listen, y'all. They controlling the weather. And they using it to manipulate us so that we cannot see the solar eclipse that's coming up April the 8th, 2024. Yes, they really trying to do that. They really trying to do that. It was just yesterday. I was thinking this as I was driving home from the gym. I'm sitting here thinking like, I'm like looking around at the weather where I stay at, right? Because it's always sunny out here in AZ. All right, it's always hot, it's always sunny. That's why I moved out here. Cause I, I noticed this a long time ago when I stayed on the East Coast. I noticed, I'm like, yo, why is it always overcast and it's always gloomy outside? I'm like, something is not right about that. So I moved out here to AZ and I got exactly what I wanted. I got hot weather, okay? It's about 70 degrees out here in april okay and it feels good that's why i can walk around with my shirt off and stuff like that because i'll be sweating but anyway they are controlling and manipulating the weather if you don't believe me look at what i found yesterday after i came from the gym when i turned on the news check this out news and fox business personnel that's going to be out there that way we can cover as many people as possible you can see them all here on fox whether that starts Sunday. you can see them all here on fox that stars on sunday they just want to get you to watch their network they just want you to get you to, to watch the fox with the bushy tail city in this path of totality and then here's another caveat now we're looking at monday and april 8th and you're looking at a likely threat Let's bring out the path of totality, likely fright, right over. Now, why are they going to put a storm right over the path of totality for the eclipse? They putting a storm right on the path. Why are they doing that? So stay tuned with that forecast because this will likely change. But if you are in that area where there is severe weather, that takes precedent over uh, potentially this total eclipse. By the They're way, trying to hide it. You got for <laughs> I can't make this up, y'all. I can't make this up. Did you see what Fox News just said? Yeah, the fox with the bushy tail, the liars, fake news. Well, they all fake news, okay? But you hear what that, that news anchor or that meteorologist just said? He said, there will be a severe storm that will be right on the, the path of totality for the solar eclipse, April 8th, 2024. And then he goes to say, then he manipulating you. Then he says, maybe, maybe uh, it just might happen. Okay. So if you're looking for that solar eclipse, you just might not be able to get to see it. So basically what he's saying is there is not going to be no storm, but they blew it up. They changed it red. You feel me? They changed it and made it look like it was going to be on the whole middle of the USA in the area where the point of the path of totality was. And they told everybody to tune in to their network on April the 8th, 2024. They clout chasing. It's cap. It's cap. They don't know the weather, folks. They These people don't know how the weather works. They might be able to check the temperature with satellites and, you know, they might have devices that can... 
a pick up on, you know, what the temperature is and the atmosphere and things like that. That's easy. We can do that as human beings. We can feel how hot and how cold it is and tell you a number. <laughs> you feel me? But they capping. I'm going to tell you what they be doing. What they be doing is they'll see they'll see they play on your mind. See, this is how the enemy works. And they doing all this to try to act like they God. I'm telling you, these people, these people, whoever they are, these people have gotten so powerful. They have become so cocky, right, that they really feel like they God at this point because they can make people think and do anything they want them to do. These people can control mass populations just with intentions. And this is how they do it. They'll, the meteorologists and them, they'll tell you, hey, yeah, it's a slight chance of rain on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. But on Friday, you might see that sun again. And you might look forward to a really good weekend. But on Sunday, we might have a system that rolls in with a slight chance of snow. Now, listen, they don't know what it's going to be. But see, they like hypnosis, hip, hypnotherapists, whatever you call them, hypnotizers. They'll tell you something. They'll tell you something and make you believe it, bro. And if and if you believe it, they got they got your vote. If you believe it, they got your energy. Now imagine, imagine two million people watching Fox News, the Fox with the bushy tail, and they telling everybody, all these people, it's gonna be a storm that day, or. It will be overcast on that day. You want you want to be able to see the solar eclipse. Now, guess what? How many how many people is walking around thinking it's really gonna happen? Lots and lots and lots and lots of people. I know it's probably not you, okay? Because I know you probably like me. Your intuition be showing you things that's not really happening or whatever that's not really true. But you be like, something ain't right about this. It, it, it smells fishy. See if they can get enough people to believe that it's gonna be a storm, folks then guess what? It manifests in the earth. It manifests in earth, y'all. I ain't gonna get too deep into it. But anyway, folks, this is what they do. These people are powerful. What well, they, they, they think they is, okay? They make natural disasters. I know y'all just heard about that earthquake and that tsunami that just happened in Taiwan. You know what's the first thing I thought that you probably thought too when you first heard about that? Because it's, it's like it's like every day now they got something new, something new, something catastrophic, something bad. And it's just like we wake up every day to like some end times prophecy. Right. Oh, it's a it's a it's a tsunami and it was an earthquake. Seven point four in Taiwan last night. It just be like, hold man, hold on now. This is happening a little too often, man. Is this the last days, y'all? Comment below and let me know. If, is this the last days? But I really think they can do that. I really think they can control the weather. I really think that they can control natural disasters. They can make an earthquake happen. I really feel like they can, they can make a seismic wave in the bottom of the earth's crust and core. And they can send vibrations up to the earth and shake and break down a whole city. I really feel like they got the technology to do that, bro. I feel like they can. Y'all remember when we was in school, right? I don't know if your school did it, but I remember when I was in school in science class, right? We had the little, uh, we had the little Coca-Cola cups or the Coca-Cola bottles. And we were uh, tied them together, upside, one upside down from the other. We were tied together with some tape and we would put water in it and we would stir it up like that. And you can literally see a tornado form inside of the Coca-Cola bottles. And that's how our teacher was explaining us how tornadoes are formed. So what that tells you, you don't think they don't know how to create a tornado in a, on a global scale, on a massive scale. Come on now. You got to be a dummy not to understand this stuff. Chosen ones know though. Chosen ones. We know, don't we? We know what that is back there in the air. You know what that is, don't you? Yeah. You know what that is? Somebody comment below and tell me what that is. Listen, y'all. It's all fake. It's all cap. These people some bots. All these news anchors and stuff. You be looking at it be like robots, don't they? The girls look, the, the lady news anchors look like uh 
look like Andromedians and stuff. You'd be like, they from a different world or something. Why they look so tough? They pe these people are sleep bots, Decepticons. They control the weather. You don't think they don't control, they don't, if they don't know how to control the weather, then why come is it that you can go in your crib or your apartment or your house and just turn on the air? How they know how to figure that out, how to do that? Got the, got the AC unit outside your house. The technology that they created, it goes inside your air conditioner unit. You flip the switch in the house electronically and it turns on air and it makes your whole house cold. How they do that? How they know how to get that technology? How they know how to make your whole crib cold? If you cold, I mean hot. How they know how to make it hot all of a sudden? All the molecules in your crib just start warming up and just getting hot and just start baking. You start sweating. You be like, technology can do that too. They know how to make it rain and everything, y'all. Okay, if they don't know how to make it rain, then why come is it that you can go to the, you can go to your, your, your local Home Depot or your local Walmart and get you a humidifier and it, it pumps moist and mist into your air and it creates moisturization in your air. That's, that's damn near like precipitation. That's how they make precipitation with a humidifier. Now, what make you think they can't humidify a whole city? All right, you don't think they can do it? Check out this video right here. I'm going to show you how they make clouds. Roll the clip. Uh, don't worry if you can't hear what I'm saying. Um, I couldn't even hear myself. This is the loudest sound you could possibly conceive. And as it turns out, the cleanest. NASA's playing God. It's making its own weather. <laughs> still, still don't believe me, do you? Still don't believe these non-believers. These bots out here, y'all still don't believe me, do you? Man, look, man, they control the weather. They control natural disasters. They trying to play God for the, the April 8th solar eclipse. They trying to play God. They already got missiles and rockets and uh, sounding rockets going up there to check the uh, vibration of what the earth gonna be doing when it happens. They already got it all played out, mapped out. <laughs> and I personally believe they're gonna try to make it overcast in your city. Here, it might rain here even. They're gonna try to make it rain as much as it can. I, it just reported yesterday. You seen, you yesterday, 300 storms was going on in America. 300. How, now, how all of a sudden in April, you know, and I know storm season coming up, but that, that's beside the point. How, how you got 300 storms going on at the same time? Where they do that at? You feel me? They control the weather, bro. Why you think what happened happened in uh, Hawaii, uh, Maui, Hawaii? And they don't even, they, they don't even know where 800 people went to. They just vanished, y'all. They still can't find them. It's a mystery. Where do people go? Oh, I know. They use laser beams to set fires on Earth. <laughs> Somebody comment below and let me know what you think. Where all them people go? Them 800 people. Where they go, y'all? They, they can't find. Where they go? They can't find not a remain, y'all. Matter of fact, why they can't find them people at, on, the, on the Jeffrey Bridge? You mean to tell me they all right there where the bridge fell? They right there. You mean you can't tell? You mean you can go to the bottom of the ocean and find some sub a submarine that was searching for the Titanic that's like 3,000 feet below the Earth's surface? And you can't find people that, that came off of a bridge with their cars and that was on a boat and they right there? Oh, no, nah, the water is mercury. The water is murky. We can't see. It's just as hard to find. That. Man, come on. <sighs> they trying to play God, bro. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if you wouldn't be able to see the solar eclipse on April the 8th, 2024, folks. I wouldn't be surprised if you can't see it. If it's overcast, it might be raining, it might be cloudy. I know in some areas in the country, it's snowing, probably snowing where you're at. You probably won't be able to see it, y'all. I'm sorry. I won't even, I won't be surprised if I woke up out here and I won't be able to see it because it's mostly sunny out here. I won't be surprised if it rained that day. I really won't. 
You can't see it. They trying to block it out so they can only get the frequency of the divine feminine and the divine masculine energy that's going to be coming together. They don't want nobody to know. Anyway, it's just my theory. This is just my opinion. I really want you to comment below and let me know what you think, though. Do you think that they control the weather? Okay. Even, even though you've seen that video where the dude told you they make clouds. Do you really think that they have the power to control storms, rain, sleet, snow, earthquakes, tsunamis, tornadoes, hurricanes? Comment below and let me know what you think. And give this video a thumbs up, too, if you like it. But anyway, listen, y'all. I would like to go on and on with this video, but my time is up. But I told y'all in my last video, if you subscribe to my channel, y'all need to get this book right here. I'm going to tell you. Y'all need to get this book of wisdom, man. Get the book of wisdom. I just be reading it every night sometimes. Um, it, it's, it tells you the signs and the symbols behind everything. Look, they got the Matrix movie in there. They got the North Pole in there talking about the North Pole, everything. And it's a picture book. And they lit it literally explains what everything means. And, and that's dec it decodes everything. Okay? So make sure you don't forget to get the book of wisdom, man. It's a good book, too. It's interesting. It's so deep sometimes you got to put it down. Like, I was reading it last night. And I'm just like, I got to <laughs> I just want to be normal, dog. I don't even want to know all this stuff. But if you like to know stuff like that, make sure you get that book down below in the comment section. Look at the very top of the comments. It's called The Book of Wisdom. And if you want to stretch your imagination out even more, be my guest. If you smart like that and very intelligent like that, which I'm assuming you are, very highly spiritual, intuitive, chosen, conscious, get the lost information for the Star Seeds, volume three, four, and five, and five, six, and seven today, okay? Those are my archives, okay? If you want to expand your consciousness, get the Lost Star Seeds and the Chosen Ones information today. That's also going to be below. I guarantee you when you start reading it, it ain't going to surprise you, but you're going to be like, wow, I, I knew this the whole time, Trent. Anyway, I got to get back out here, man. I'm sun gazing, getting my D up, getting my vitamin D up in my body. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get my chalkers right. So I got to get back up here in the sunlight, man, and get my melanin and stuff right. You feel me? I'm glowing up a little bit, ain't it? It working. It working a little bit. I think so. But anyway, God bless you, man. You have a good day. Make sure you uh, subscribe to my channel. It's your big brother, Trend. Love you, man. Peace.